Got a new aperture light, pretty excited about it. All right, so today I want to talk about camera bags. I feel that uh, within our circle of creators and videographers and photographers, uh, I think uh, purchase and the struggle that gets under really underrated is selecting the right camera bag. There's a lot to choose from out there and there's a huge price range. I found a camera bag that is amazing, I feel, for the price, great value great bang for your buck and I did a lot of research on a lot of different camera bags on the features the pockets and all the little extras and little bells and whistles and I strongly feel that this camera bag is the greatest value dollar for dollar bang for your buck value as far as camera bags go yeah it's the low plow th slips ugh. it's the low plow it's the Low Pro Flipside 300. Alright, guys, so this is it. I'm gonna to talk to you real quick about why I like the Low Pro Flipside 300 so much. Uh, right away, I'm going to tell you that you do not enter or access the main compartment on this backpack from the front or the, the back. I'm not sure how this would work because this is on your back. But anyway, uh, not normally where you would access it. It's actually here. This actually breathes really well. This is a foam backing that goes against your back. Um, you can tell that this, this material breathes really good. Um, so uh, I've worn this here in the Arizona desert and haven't had issues feeling uncomfortable and feeling like my back was just getting hot and sweaty and uncomfortable. So um, really cool feature. Now if we just open this up right away, we'll just get right into the main compartment of the Low Pro Flipside 300. There we go. So uh, adjustable dividers all around. Um, I can fit my Mavic 2 Pro here really well. I can fit the Mavic 2 Pro controller here, two batteries, and then I can fit my spare lenses for my Canon here, and then I can fit the body of my Canon right there with uh, uh, a prime lens attached to it at all times, ready to go. So when I'm done, I'll actually pop everything in here and show you how everything fits. Um, I like this little divider here. All these all just come out, this whole thing is adjustable. I like this little divider because this one actually has this little pocket in here. And I'll use that to spare uh, ND filters um, or extra lens caps or whatever, or even some little USB micro cables or something. But it's really cool having this feature where this uh, divider is a pocket as well. It's obviously orange, so you know that that's the one that has the uh, dividers in it. Um, this little pouch here at the very top is removable. I'm not gonna take this clip out, but you can take this one out. I'll just, I'll just do it for you. So you can take this whole compartment out, and uh, it's actually it can be completely separate. But uh, I keep all my cleaning stuff in here for my all my lens cleaning gear and well, everything else, including my dead cat, just because it's soft, so it's not gonna messy. So it's not gonna get messed up. But you know, put soft stuff with soft stuff. So um, this just goes right back in here. Really like the simplicity of the interior, but it's you can still uh, fit everything in here. A lot of things that I use pretty well. Anything I use on a daily basis, what I have with me all the time, I could fit in here pretty easily. Um, going inside of this this lit, this uh, cover here, you got this uh, compartment here. Um, I usually keep spare propellers. Uh, you can keep an iPad Mini. It's a good size pocket. I mean, I could fit my entire hand in here. Just, you know, spreading my spreading my thumb out. So yeah. Um, Something I really find really cool inside this, this cover is I really like this little compartment here. I'm able to keep a delegated micro SD card as well as an adapter that I can just pop into my Canon um, in my bag at all times. It's empty, it's ready to go, it's always in here. So in the off chance that I do forget to, to put my micro SD back in my Mavic 2 Pro or, or my GoPro, um, I have a spare here. And as well, with the adapter, 
I could put it into my cannon if I wanted to. So it's just nice having that peace of mind that I have an extra memory card should I forget to put it in my gear. So, cool. So, close this bad boy up. And, this isn't even, and that's not even the best part. So we flip to the front of this bag. There we go. We'll go into this compartment here. Flips down. Right here you got a little you got a little picture right there actually of an iPad. You could fit I could fit my full size iPad in this compartment right here. I mean the, I could fit in the entire thing. Actually, let me just grab it right here and show you. There we go. Here's my iPad. Literally guys slides right in there perfectly. So I'll keep my iPad in there. Um, let's just say I go on a job and I you know, really want to have a bigger monitor rather than use my cell phone for my drone controller so I can use my iPad there and it's it fits nice and cozy inside that pocket. Um, pocket here, uh, another spot for some spare propellers. It's actually a really good spot to throw some uh, ND filters. I'll use these little pockets here. I'll hold, I'll keep some extra uh, some pens or some micro SD cables or extra uh, adapters inside of these sleeves. So here is a micro USB to lightning that I'd use for the Mavic 2. And that I believe just fits nicely just inside one of these little little pockets right there. So you know, these pockets are great to hold these little cables uh, or anything else. Another netted, little netted pocket right here. And I'll, no, there we go, there's two spare batteries for my cannons in right in there. So, yeah. Oh, and there we go. So I even got my uh, spare joysticks for my Mavic 2 Pro controller in there too. So those are little. So I hate to be out in a shoot in the desert or something or outside and then drop uh, drop all those bad boys when I'm trying to twist it into the controller and then, oh, that would suck. So got those spares in there. Uh, and then not only this, so you got the big pocket, medium pocket, and then there's another small pocket right here. So uh, lots of pockets, good stuff. I uh, got this little clip here. I have actually used that before, you know, clip on my my Bose, my Bose headphones case. There you go. So, uh, well, you know, that's just in there. It doesn't go anywhere. It won't fall out if I have this thing open. So those pockets are really nice. Now moving to the outside is this. So you have this little icon there, a little picture of a, a tripod. If you actually open this little, seems like a secret pouch, you actually open that. this pouch here on the bottom that could grab the bottom legs of a tripod and then you go here to the top another little secret pouch here pull that out and there you go there's your there's your clip so you can actually connect put a clip clip on the top of the tripod here put the bottom legs inside the tripod there and there you go you can span a tripod across the back of this and uh, you know you got a delegated sack there to hold the legs of the of the tripod, and then you have this clip here that you could tighten and have that tripod up against the back of your bag, really nice and snug. So can't show you that obviously because I'm using my tripod to hold up the camera. Um, then moving on to the sides, really cool. Same thing, you know you got a you got a little pouch here on the side, and you hold your beverage, or you can put another, or you can use this for a tripod. And then you have a clip here that will help pull that on nicely. I've actually used this pocket specifically to hold this uh, extension for my Ronin S. So let's put that on there. I was, cause the case that the Ronin SC, well it's, it's Ronin SC, I'm a Ronin S, but my Ronin SC, uh, the case that it comes with doesn't have any space for this carbon fiber uh, handle, this extension. So that's a nice little cozy spot to throw that. And uh, stays there pretty nicely. I can even tighten this more if I want. There we go. That's in there nice and snug. So great little great little feature on there on the side. And you get the same thing on the other side. So we got another pocket, another mesh pocket, and then another clip to hold in whatever you want. So if it's not a hydro flask, something a little taller and skinnier, you can use that clip to hold it in. So that is not all. Guys, check this out. So all right, so every bag would have this. So you got this, you know, if you're if you're going hiking and you want to make sure your, your backpack is nice and snug to yourself. You can go ahead and you can clip this across your chest, and then you can also clip this one down here. There you go. 
So you got one strap that you can clip around your waist, another one that you can do around your chest. So that way if you're hiking, uh, you wanna make sure that your gear is nice and snug against your torso, you're good to go. But that's not all. But guys, this bag is such a great value for the, what you spend. Look at this. So you got this little icon here, the sticker. This tells you, uh, what is this? Let me see if I can get that in focus. There you go. Uh, rain, wind, you know, whatever. So this is, a, uh, this is a weather cover for this bag. So check this out. Pop the box open. Look at this. This bag comes with a built-in rain cover. Goes over the whole bag. Damn it. There we go. Check that out. Now obviously, you know, it's, 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 I would say it's weather, I would say it's water resistant. I wouldn't say it's waterproof. Being that, I mean, it doesn't cover the whole back. You know, with this that's against your torso, you know, it's, that's not covering that. You know, this isn't to go white water rafting. It's not gonna protect everything on the inside. But, but what it is going to protect is you're in the rain. You put this on your back, boom. So that's a really cool feature too. It's also kind of reflective. I mean, that right there. I mean, there's really cool features within this thing for for what you spend. I mean, yeah, this this the bag is just shy of 120 bucks. All right. So that's my review. Uh, personally, I feel like the Low Pro Flipside 300 camera bag is a great value. I mean, you get a lot, a lot for what you spend for a measly 115 bucks. I mean, it's not measly, it's not pocket change by any sense, but for $115, you really do get a lot for your money. But I feel like Low Pro really did a good job and put a lot of thought into the pockets, the locations, and the little extras, and really had value in mind when they designed this backpack. That's my review, that's my opinion. Take or leave it, do what you want, go spend your money, and buy a camera bag. See ya.